Hey guys, it's Mike back with another video. So wanted to do another bobblehead review. Uh, this one is going to be of the Foco Aaron Judge MLB.com exclusive bobblehead. Um, as you can see, fits a uh, pretty decent sized bobblehead. Uh, he is in his swing. He has the hammer. He has Yankee Stadium marquee behind him. Uh, the box in the front is a window box with the MLB logo, the Players Association logo. Uh, there's the um, sticker for authentication, I believe, or it's just a regular sticker for Major League Baseball. Uh, you have in the front, it says Player Bobble. On the side, it says MLB.com exclusive with the Yankee logo, a pitcher in the background throwing and the silhouette of the player. Silhouette of a player catching. Bottom, it says Find Your Fanhood at Foco.com. Um, and the other side is a player swinging the bat, MLB.com exclusive. Yankees logo, top of the bobblehead, you got player bobble with a little bit of the windows showing you the top of the bobblehead and underneath the bobblehead you just have, it's upside down, let me see if I can get that right for you guys, and oh, I had it right the first time, uh, sometimes I think I need glasses, <laughs> so let's just lay this down and you have the forever collectibles information there if you want to pause to read that go right ahead um but that's the information the bottom of the box so let's take the bobblehead out and we'll do a more in-depth review once it's out of the box don't go anywhere stay right back stay stay tuned i'll be right back okay so the bobblehead is out of the box right now um and i kept the rubber part around the neck to keep it in place for the uh review i don't want to take it out and have the butt neck get damaged while i'm interviewing this but looking at this piece out of the box, I am really, really impressed with this work. Um, I've always actually been, a, not as of late, but over the years, been a little critical of forever bobbleheads. I always thought that the face likeness didn't really touch on what the player looks like. Um, I don't think it does here either, facial-wise, but the piece is still outstanding. I mean, it has some heft to it, some, some nice weight to it. Um, as you can see, he has the Yankee Stadium marquee behind them, a picture of Judge behind it, and it says, All Rise. I'll see if I can get in there so you can get a better look at it. And it says Yankee Stadium, trademarked right over here, has the trademark. Um, see, he's sitting, uh, standing on some dirt with home plate. The dirt is really detailed. You could get into the grain. There's a Yankee logo in there. You have him in the batter's box. The letters are are raised. They're not like really, really raised. But if you run your finger along here, you can tell that the letters are raised off of the base. He's wearing his high t uh, high uh, socks, his batting shoes. I love the the um, gavelin here. It has the Yankee logo in blue with a gold um, trim on there, and the handle and the rest of the Gavel is brown. Get the judge in the home Yankee pinstripes. Let's turn the bobblehead around. He's got his familiar 99. Um, got some nice... It's painted on. There's, there's some texture here to the hair, which I like. Um, get the bat of the batting helmet. You get the MLB logo behind the jersey as it should be. Um, turn the bobblehead around. There's really nothing behind the bobblehead. It's just a plain white background. And then you take a look at Judge. You know, I, I take that back. It kind of actually does look like Judge. And he's actually got the little gap in his teeth. And although all they did was run a piece of red paint through there. If we can focus on there. There we go. So he does have the little gap there. Um, so that was something that a lot of the earlier judge bobbles didn't have um one of my I, I just noticed this one of my uh i guess pet peeves here is going to be the little tiny yankee emblem here um for that if you're going to not cut if you're going to have him in mid swing maybe it would have been best not to have the yankee logo there um because we all know the yankee logo is not that small it would have been off a little bit to the side over here um maybe next time just have a piece of the logo so at least it looks like that he um 
would have um, been covering the logo during mid swing instead of just having it, um, just having a small tiny logo. We all know it's a Yankee bobblehead. Didn't really need that little bit of a logo, but that's just me. That's my little pet peeve. Love that they have his armband right over here. And it's sculpted on also because it's raised off the arm, which is pretty sweet. It's got his batting gloves, his batting uh, wristband. It's got the elbow guard also over here on this side, which I think is really nice detail on the bobblehead. Um, they're trying to capture as much of Judge as possible. Um, the Yankee logo on the top of the hat is stickered. It's not it's not raised or anything like that, but that doesn't really bother me. Um, I'm happy that the, the letters are raised on the base, and the st it's also stickered back here or paint. Yeah, it's more of a sticker back here. I don't think it's painted on. I think this is just sticker. I mean, you can feel the, the sticker at parts on the jersey, on the back of the jersey. Um, I love the bobblehead. I think this bobblehead is awesome. I think it's good. It would make a great piece for any Yankee fan, any bobblehead collector in their collection. Um, Judge has been getting a lot of hobby love in the bobblehead community lately. This is actually my first and only Judge bobblehead for now. Um, I'm hoping the Yankees give out a bobblehead this year of Judge, which I think they'll probably will from rumors that I'm hearing that they will. Um, they haven't released the uh, promo dates as of yet. I'm hoping they release it this week. That's something I also heard that the tickets go on sale this week for single games. So maybe we're going to get to see the uh, promotions uh, go on sale or the release dates of the promos, the listing that they give on Yankees.com. That should go live also this week. Um, got I'm actually behind on picking up the bobbles of Judge. Judge's popularity causes his bobbleheads to be a little more expensive. There are some nice, decent price ones out there also if you can find them. I know the... Uh, the Bobblehead Hall of Fame has a has a Judge Bobblehead, which is really sweet that I want to get my hands on. I know um, Clark's Toys has a Judge Bobblehead for about thirty to forty bucks. I don't remember the exact price, which is decent. This that's the price you're gonna pay for a retail bobble these days. And again, this one's got some height to it. This is not a normal size bobblehead. This bobblehead's a little bigger than your normal size bobbleheads, and it's gonna take some take up some room in your display cabinet. So, and I like bobbleheads that have some some height to them. Um, I love bobbleheads in general. I will go after any bobblehead I can, especially if it's of a Yankee. My only, I said it before, my gripe with the Yankees with the bobbleheads is that they're mini bobbleheads. I would rather it be full size bobbleheads. The Mets give out full size bobbleheads. Other teams give out small full size bobbleheads. But there are again, not just the Yankees. Other teams give out mini bobbleheads as well. So you can't really fault the Yankees on that one. Um, but this one has some height to it, and I'm going to be actually. Hopefully grabbing a few more of the retail ones in the upcoming months. And of course, I will review them on the channel once I get a hold of them. So, guys, hope you liked the, the review of this bobblehead. This is the Aaron Judge MajorLeague.Baseball.com exclusive Funko retail bobblehead. Um, you can get yours on MLB.com. Um, eBay has them, but eBay, of course, the price on eBay is going to be a little more expensive if you then rather just going through MLB.com to getting one. So, guys, thanks a lot for watching the the, uh, the the video. Please leave a comment below if, whether or not you like the bobblehead, what do you think of it, are you going to try to get one of your own. Um, hit that like button if you like the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, guys. Thanks a lot for watching the channel. Your support means so much to me, these day, especially within these past few weeks that I've been going through so much personally. And the fact that you guys watch the channel still, leave comments down below, um, means a lot to me, guys. Uh, so thank you very much for that. And guys, just remember, collecting is the life, so learn to live it.